All right, so uh, what are we doing today? Um, check this out. Uh, we got swapping this motor out. This is the new one. This is a DC motor, and uh, this is the uh, older one, which was a electric. I used these last year, but this one, you can see the shaft has actually got a wobble to it. And uh, this is on the uh, Ghost in the box. And uh, this right here is the other motor that I'm going to replace. This one I've already placed on here, which is for the shaft that goes up to the clown head. And this one is already in there. I just got to swap this one out right right here. So I'm going to be changing this one out with the, the uh, new DC motor. So um, that's basically what we're doing for today. So I got to reconfigure this. You got to get that off there and then put this one on there. And I got to figure out uh, how I'm going to be uh, doing that. All right. Um, I got that replaced. Uh, that motor's on there now. And I'm just doing a quick little test before I do the soldering of the wires and then putting it uh, back into the box. So here we go. Hey, little kitties, do you want some candy? The shaft little there kitty. spinning. And you gotta see get this a motor is closer. spinning. A little closer. And I have them both uh, running off of the same 12 volt power supply, whereas last year I had two actually. Uh, 110 ACs for one for each motor so I was able to remove one of the power supplies I probably could have ran the 110s off of uh, one and just basically wired it from the other but I had two so this is gonna save me a plug outlet and so far it seems to be working as it should and the next step is to uh, mount it in the box all right, uh, just a quick test of it mounted in there. Just wanted to plug it in, make sure everything is spinning, not binding. Uh, looks good. Crank's moving, head's moving. Uh, looks like no problems. Next step is just I'm going to get all the uh, prop controller stuff in there, mounted in there real nice, and, uh, and this guy's going to be uh, ready to go. All right, got, the, got everything back in there. Um, just gonna do a real test here. I got the PIR just kind of hanging out the front there, but everything else I got mounted in, and I'll show that in a second. Let me uh, just kick it off. Hey, little kitties, do you want some candy? Well, do you? You gotta get a little closer. A little closer. <laughs> Now, of course, the only other thing I didn't have going is the actual light that actually coincides with that shock kind of sound that flickers, the light would flicker. Um, so you can, uh, I need to put a piece of black tape on that speaker light there, but I got the speakers mounted and then uh, gonna be kind of hard to see in here. But uh, I got all the wires and everything hooked up in there. Um, I would shine a light in there uh, to kind of get it a little bit better so you could see it, but uh, I only have one plug right now and that's into the box. But uh, everything's in there. I put a new board in, got all the uh, prop controller mounted in there. All the wires are now mounted nicely. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this thing is ready to go for Halloween way early. So it's all good. Okay, so I got a light on now. So I can, so you can kind of see what's in here. So, um, yeah, I know that light's kind of bright. But uh, so here it is. Um, got the prop controller right there and then the, there's all the wires and then that wire there is up to the PIR and then I got a power strip for everything else to be plugged into and uh, here's the crank motor on the side there and uh, again that's just a pole that goes up to the clown and uh, this thing is totally collapsible so basically I can take this crank off the side then I can take the clown head off and then that top comes down and everything goes Basically uh, right inside the box there. I know this is my not a great video person here. So hopefully it'll turn out. All right. Okay